Even though they aren't superheroes, this is a list of six people who saved the world. Something wrong? My cat's stuck in the tree. Ugh. Not big on cats. The list is in no way sorted by the importance of what they did. It's more a summary of people that you haven't heard of that saved millions or even billions of lives. On October 27, 1962, the Cuban Missile Crisis was at its peak where tension between Russia and the United States was at an all-time high. A group of United States Navy ships spotted an unidentified nuclear-armed submarine in international waters near Cuba. The United States ships sent out depth charges and warning radio signals to force the submarine to the surface for identification. Unfortunately, those aboard the Russian submarine hadn't received any of the warnings and mistook the depth charges as an attack on the ship. The captain of the submarine, Valentin Savitsky, decided that a war might have already started and wanted to launch a nuclear torpedo at the American ships. On Savitsky's submarine, a unanimous vote of three people was needed to launch the nuclear weapon at the Americans. Captain Savitsky voted yes. Officer Ivan Maslenikov voted yes, but a man named Vasily Arkhipov voted no. Arkhipov's vote single-handedly prevented a nuclear attack against the United States of America and essentially prevented a nuclear war from starting. Who knows how many millions or even billions of lives were prevented by not starting this nuclear war? In the aftermath, the Russian nuclear submarine surfaced and awaited orders from Moscow. On April 26, 1986, in a small town in Ukraine, a nuclear reactor had received a large increase in power which led to explosions at its core. This reactor in Chernobyl would spew large amounts of radioactive material into the atmosphere. Many workers at the nuclear power plant and local firefighters received lethal doses of radiation in under a minute. And many hours later, the fires were localized and finally extinguished. But a portion of their reactor had superheated to 1,200 degrees Celsius and threatened to melt through the bottom of the chamber into a pool of water which would have set off a steam explosion ejecting significantly more radioactive waste into the sky. So they decided that the pool of water had to be drained in order to prevent this explosion. Three volunteer divers that were engineers at the nuclear power plant decided that they would take on the mission of diving into and draining the pool, knowing full well that it was a suicide mission. Their names were Alexei Anenenko, Valery Bezpalov, and Boris Baranov. Luckily, they had accomplished their mission and had successfully opened several valves and drained the pool of water. It was later found that the high amounts of radiation converted much of the water that they swam in into hydrogen peroxide, an acid typically used in bleaches. If these divers hadn't swam through the pool of hydrogen peroxide and opened those valves, it is likely that tons of corium, a lava-like radioactive material, would have been ejected into the atmosphere and possibly have spread to large parts of Europe. Unfortunately, these three men passed away very soon from radiation sickness. But who knows how many countless lives they saved. If you were born after the year 1960 and are from Pakistan, India, Mexico, or to be honest, anywhere in Latin America or the Middle East, this man is probably a big reason why you are alive right now. Norman Borlaug was a biologist from Iowa that during the 1940s began researching wheat. After years of research, he and his team were able to develop a semi-dwarf, high-yield, disease-resistant type of wheat. He first tested out growing this wheat in Mexico, a place that was experiencing a large food shortage at the time. They found that using Borlaug's wheat dramatically increased the overall yield. And within 18 years, the overall wheat production had increased by 500%, with 95% of farmers using Borlaug's creation. Similar effects were seen in places like India, Pakistan, and many other countries around the world. It is estimated that Burlog's wheat has been able to feed over 1 billion people that would have experienced starvation. It also prevented 1 million square kilometers of Earth's land from being converted into farmland for lower yield wheat. So not only did his creation save 1% of the land on Earth, it also fed 15% 
of the world. Another situation revolving around the Cold War came in 1983, when Russia's nuclear attack warning system went off. The system said that five nuclear missiles were launched and on their way to detonation in Russia. Stanislav Petrov was the head of the nuclear defense system at the time. Normally under these circumstances, it would have led to a likely immediate nuclear counterattack on the United States. But Petrov had a hunch that something was wrong, because only five missiles were detected and he thought that if the USA were to attack Russia, hundreds of nuclear weapons would be dropped in order to prevent a counterattack from Russia. If Petrov had informed Moscow about the incoming nuclear missile detection, we might have seen a catastrophic nuclear attack on the United States. Another swift decision from a Russian man that prevented a possible nuclear war. As a kid, everyone used to hate the day when you'd get called down to the office to get your vaccinations. But what most people don't actually know is that the majority of those vaccinations were made by one man. Maurice Hilleman was an American microbiologist that created over 40 vaccines in his lifetime, which is unparalleled in history. Of the 14 regular vaccines that the average person gets, 8 of them were made by him. They are the ones for measles, mumps, hepatitis A, hepatitis B, chickenpox, meningitis, pneumonia, and a type of flu vaccine. This one man is accredited to saving more lives than anyone in the medical field during the 20th century and maybe ever. If you are a human being watching this, which you should be, then your body likely has traces of Fritz Haber's invention. Around the year 1900, this German chemist discovered the Haber-Bosch process, which is a way of creating ammonia from air. Now that might not seem super impressive, but when you think about what ammonia is used for, you will realize how valuable this discovery was. You see, ammonia is the main component of fertilizers. The Haber process led to the mass production of fertilizers and is estimated to be responsible for half of the overall food production in the world. Thank you very much for watching this video. Leave a like if you liked this video. Hit the awesome button if you're super awesome. Subscribe if you want to. And let me know if you think that there's anyone else that saved the world that most people don't know that I missed. Also, what do you think of me making more videos like this? Do you guys like them? Do you not like them? Let me know. Leave a comment below. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. You are all very, 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 very beautiful people. And I will see you guys next time.